On March the 1st, I had, a, I had that dream. Y'all remember that dream? I saw three tornadoes together. Um, some of the terminology to describe those kind of tornadic funnels and winds has been said to be satellite tornadoes. Sometimes it's just two, sometimes it could be three. And in the dream, those three tornadoes were together intertwined. The first one come down, it, it became a fox on the earth and it began to run and God told me to run at it and rebuke it. A fox uh, is a fox. Sneaky. Hello? A liar. Uh, a thief. And uh, so a deceptive image. And I heard the Holy Spirit speak in the dream. He said, this is propaganda. And this was March the 1st. He said, it's truths mixed with lies. Not all of it's lies, but not all of it's the truth. An exaggeration. Come on, somebody. And a mixing together of the both. The next dream, or the same dream, but the next tornado that touched down out of these satellite tornadoes in the dream was a dark cloud. This is March the 1st, 2020. I see law enforcement with their back to the church. I'm standing behind them at the church. I can see the church here. And their backs are turned toward the church. And there's a big, that big tornado. It's a big dark cloud. And, it's, and I can hear them screaming, death, 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 death. And I hear the Holy Ghost spoke to me in the dream. He said, run at it and rebuke it. And then each time when I run toward the fox and rebuked it, it eventually disappeared and so did the second one. Then the third one was not all the way touched down, the tornado that is in the dream. But it was making some effects on the earth. I believe partially part of that was to do with finances and if the church will approach and run to and not from, come on somebody, and, and rebuke this stuff that all that won't come down. But... In the last two days, the Holy Spirit's been telling me, he said, there's more to that last tornado. That has not yet happened either, the fullness of it. And uh, we're right in the middle of the second one. I can tell you where I was on the lawnmower here two days after I dreamed it. I hadn't even shared it with nobody yet. I prayed over that dream for a few days before I even brought it to the pulpit and preached it. I was right here on the lawnmower coming right. I just passed where I'd have been... It, equal to the pulpit and a police car pulls in here and parks out there I guess just watching the road going to use our drive to watch folks come by or whatever they were doing I don't know what they doing and I can remember on the zero turn mower I just stopped and I watched the cop car sitting there and their back was turned toward me right where I saw myself in the dream but I, I didn't see the lawnmower but that's where I was at I was on and I remember I just stopped and I propped up on the handlebars that zero turn mower and I said, Lord, I was looking at the back of that cop going, what in the world does the police law enforcement turning their back to the church mean? This was about March the 3rd or 4th, somewhere in there. It was before Dylan's birthday and he was, his birthday was on the 6th. So sometime between March the 1st, the dream, and before Dylan's birthday on the 6th, this was happening to me. I didn't know what it meant then. It has, that has come to pass. We're living that right now. Now here's what I want to do because I don't, I don't want to be. But in the last two days, I've been hearing the Holy Spirit say, not fully, partially, that last tornado that you dreamed about. And notice it was satellite tornadoes. Satellite. I'm telling you people, if you've ever needed to shut your satellites off and the sound bites and the feeds you're getting from all this, it is now. I'm telling you. Because that fox is laced up in all of it. Come on, somebody. And it's all connected to even what's happening with, with the laws and, and the ordinance of the land and even the things that's coming toward the church. That is the beginning. The beginning. You hear me? Hallelujah. But the last part of that dream, yes, it's affecting the finances. And I knew that was a partial meaning, but God began to tell me the last two days, this thing ain't always happened yet. And this may not be all the fullness of it, but I heard the Holy Spirit tell me this morning. He said, you need to pray against storms and call my people to pray against storms because God says within that last one you saw, there are going to be a pattern of storms that come across this nation this year. Hello?
I'm talking about literal storms and threats from above. Come on. And I don't know what all that's to mean. Hallelujah. But Holy Ghost, I just obey your command right now. And we speak the blood of the Lamb. And God, we ask you in advance to have mercy, O Lord. God, you said throughout the whole year. So I don't know what all that means. I don't know if that's from the oceans. I don't know if that's, God, just across the heartland, out in the opens of tornadic or a hurricane. God, I don't know what all that consists of. Floods, whatever. I, God, you just told me it, did, it was to do with literal storms. And surges. And Lord, we come right now and we pray against this thing. And God, we pray you have mercy. Hallelujah. And God, you said you ride the wings of the wind. Hallelujah. In Psalms 18 and 10, you ride the wings of the wind. So God, I don't know why, but I'm prophesying by the Spirit of God with on the wings of storms is going to come a move of your spirit of revival. Hallelujah. And God, I believe there is going to be an awakening by the Spirit of God, but it's not going to be an awakening in fear. It's going to be an awakening through the faith of God. And Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we pray in this hour, you have mercy on your people. And God, we do, even as Joel said to do in Joel 2, we cry out between the porch and the altar. And we cry, out, Lord, spare your people. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy is the Lamb. Oh, yes, Jesus, God, have your will, have your way. We fall down, we lay our crown at the feet of Jesus. The greatness of his mercy and love. The feet of Jesus, we cry, holy, holy, holy. We cry, holy, holy, holy. We cry, holy, 